I have another item or product that was sent to me by Senzil um, in here. So let's get it opened and I'll show you what it is. Right, once again, feet come in handy with this kind of thing, unboxings I've found over the years. Let's give this an open and I'll show you what it is. It came with that isolation box that I did a, a films about the other week. So I thought it's time to get this open now and I'm quite interested in this actually. Things are always packed really well, aren't they? Oh, oh, two, maybe two. Looks like they're bigger than I imagined. Oh yeah, they're a lot bigger than I, than I thought. Oh, my thoughts are changing slightly. Because it's bigger than I imagined, actually. Ah. Let, me, let me get out of there. Well, at the moment I've only got one moss ball, <laughs> so what I've decided to do, I've put this one in with jaws, but close to the close to the old um, sponge filter, because you always because she's big and you always worry she's going to bash into something. Um, but I would have thought that would be if you had four or five of those across the back of the tank with little fishies like these. I, I think that would look really nice with a nice plant in there, with leaves coming out. Plus, it keeps you if you like a clear floor like I do, so you can siphon up all this rubbish. It helps to keep the floor clear, so you can keep it nice and clean. So four, four or five of those across the back of the tank would look rather nice, I think. Obviously, you're worried about when you got really big fish. You worry about them swimming into things and breaking things and hurting themselves. Um, but like I say, four or five of those across the back with small fish would look quite nice. You know? Even with like flower horns, they, when they get bigger, they bash into things, don't they? And Big fish, that's the way it is. But that would look nice with some little fish. Decorative. Well, bad.